Okay. When you work with lumber, you would have a nominal size. That's what you normally would call the lumber. It's based from the actual dimension when it's uncut. But then when you uh, finish the lumber, making the sides uh, plain or smooth, then you will actually have taken out maybe one half inch thick of that lumber. So you still call it a two by two, but the actual size will now be smaller. So this is a table showing the nominal dimension of the lumber, the actual when it's planed, and, uh, and then in, in inches, and of course in metric. So for the girder, we're going to use a, uh, well, we don't have it here. So we'll use an eight by 10. So eight is, when converted, is about 203.2. Okay. And for 10, you can actually go and Google that and you'll see that that should be about 235. Okay, so 203.2 by 235. So let's create that number here. So we'll go and Go to the ground floor again. Okay, and we'll go to the, we'll place it at the middle of this wall here. So we go to structure, beam. We'll use this, edit that, duplicate, and we'll just name this. Um, likely let's change that to just 184 instead 184.2 by 235 okay click OK make sure you change this to 184.2 okay so depends on what your Structural engineer would specify. Okay, click OK. And we're going to place that from the midpoint. Let's see. Yep, midpoint of that line to here. There you go. Let's look at it in a section view. Okay. Looks like we need to bring it down so that it will be aligned to the top of this lumber right here. So we can measure, so modify, measure. That's 19.1. So we can select this and give a Z offset of negative 19.1. Okay. Next, we're going to add the same type of lumber, 38 by 235, and use that as our joist. So we go to our ground floor. structure beam and select again our 38 by 235 and this time we're going to place it right here to there okay now we need this to be uh, offset by 16 inches from this lumber right here. So we're going to say, uh, insert a reference plane. So RP is the shortcut. We'll say offset by 16 inches. So notice you can uh, 
place there the code and that will symbolize inches and it will convert to your units okay so we'll go here make sure you select the right endpoint hit space bar if the reference line is going the other way so space bar it doesn't matter how long that reference line should be so that's 16 apart okay so if that's 16 from the edge then i can safely say i can hit modify al is the shortcut align to that edge this line right there so that should be 16 center to center 16 inches center to center okay hit escape twice then i can now delete this okay extend that a bit okay and okay might need to extend this a bit okay from there you can copy well before we copy let's go to a uh, section view and make sure okay, I can see our choice. The reason for that is if you go back to the ground floor plan and select this, select this line, see the range that our section view is cutting goes only up to here. That's why we're not seeing that floor choice that we have just created. So extend this and now double click on the section head. So you should be able to see. Okay, there's our, okay, so let's look at it in a fine level. Okay, there it is. So similarly, we need to bring that down by 19.1. So set offset of negative 19.1, okay. And of course, I need to extend this up to the face of that piece of lumber right there. And I think I'm good at this side. So, so now that's one. The one piece is properly placed. I can now go back to my ground floor plan. Okay, that's where I need to place that. I think I place it only up to here. So, I can now go here. Make copies. I can make multiple copies. Okay, from let's say here to here. Oops. Let me escape. Let me select this again. Copy. Let's say I need a. I need to snap to a point. So from here to there, that will be 16, but I need to make sure that, okay, I don't, I can't snap there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm just going to select somewhere here and then type 16 inches. There you go. So that's one choice, 16 inches apart. And then I can just say, copy this multiple times and then now I can snap from here to there to there okay once you have copied several so you can now select this much and say copy from here to there so make sure you select the same endpoint to there and to there. Okay, you can select more to there and there. Okay. And to 
through here. And I think I need one more. Okay. Okay. Since I need that 16, normally your nailer might need to go to uh, that 16 inch distance on center. So you need to place that lumber right there. Okay. So copying is uh, quite tedious. So let's see how we can array this uh, at the other side. So let's select this and uh, maybe mirror this. So mirror by drawing DM is a shortcut from the midpoint. We have an endpoint there, midpoint. Okay, select this, draw a straight line. Okay, nice. Okay. And this time we're going to say array. Once you hit the array button, AR is the shortcut. We're going to say, I need an array of this by how much? So let's say, let's start with 20, enter. Now, where do we add the dimension? So we say from here to there. Okay, where did it go? Mm. Okay. okay, there you go. So that was quicker, but 20 is, doesn't make it. So instead of 20, we'll say 25, enter. Okay, oops, let's just click this button right here. So 25, enter. And I think 25 is a little bit, nope, that, I think that cuts it. So that's your 25th. Okay, so 25. Go to a 3D view. Okay, you want to save your project. Let's just say RN X5. And let's just say floor joist. So the other file will be rnx5 sidewalk. This will be rnx5 floor joist. Option one, backup, click OK, and save. 